And today, the Texas A&M Engineering Experiment Station and the Process Engineering Research and Development Center are hosting a short course that might spark your curiosity. Some companies are already doing food processing and they want to branch out into other areas and they want to learn more about how to make dog food. This week, food manufacturers from across the area are learning about producing pet foods and treats. We have lectures from 8 a.m. until about 3 or 3.30 in the afternoon. Then a bus takes everyone over here where we have actually equipment demonstrations. And the equipment demonstrations incorporate the things that were taught that day. Today's lesson? So there's many different kinds of extruders that can be used. Extrusion, which basically describes a process that uses heat and pressure to make dry kibble and treats. We're going to show how the product is made uh, in that machine. After we make that dog bone in the extruder, we're going to pneumatically convey it up through the tubes above us onto this dryer over here, and we're going to actually dry that final product. Well, that process can be interesting to watch. These courses aren't just for the curious. If they can take some of their extra ingredients that they aren't using in human food, instead of it becoming waste, they can actually put it toward another product so there's less losses. And even though college students don't usually take these courses, we will give them an educational discount. They're more than welcome. In College Station, Gabriela Garcia, KAGS News. In New